Hi, welcome to my world. My name's Kathy, and this is Lily. Can you say hello, Lily? Can you say hello, Lily? Oh, she's napping. <laughs> anyway, we're both Bernie Sanders fans. And I have a now she hears something. Lily, 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 Lily. Shh. Oh, right. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Anyway, we went to see Bernie Sanders at the Bernie Sanders rally. And I am so tired of the Bernie blackout. So, a little story about what happened when we went to see Bernie. Lily goes everywhere with me. And at, the, at their rally, she sat on my lap. And she was a little nervous. It was real noisy. Anyway, usually when somebody comes up to the scooter, she'll kind of look at them and wiggle around a little bit, but she barks. I don't know why she does that, but she does. And so, when he was done with his rally, he came down, and luckily I got to sit in the front row. I was really happy about that. Anyway, um, he came down to shake hands, and he was taking selfie pictures with some people, about two people, two people away. And Lily, all of a sudden, she gets up on my dashboard of my scooter, and she's staring at him, and she's just wiggling like crazy. And I thought, oh, she's gonna bark at him. Anyway, she just kept watching him and watching him, and he got there and. I shook his hand, and Lily's trying to get to him. And I said, you know, I think Lily likes you too. And so he looked at Lily, and he leaned over, and he scratched her hand. And he goes, oh, you little sweetie. And then he had to leave, of course. And so Lily watched him walk away. And when he was gone around the corner, she kind of looked at me like, where'd my buddy go? And so... <laughs> I uh, I was really proud of her, and it really was a, a, a cincher for me, because she's never done anything like that before. And anyway, now, when I'm out in public and I go places, Lily's always with me. And a lot of people go, oh, she's so cute, and cause she's sitting down by my feet. Oh, yeah, and she's special, too. I said, Bernie Sanders tickled her. And they go, who? Bernie Sanders. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people really don't know who he is. And so they do after they meet me. And so I go, well, he's running for president. Of course they know Trump's name. And I've never heard one person say anything good about him. And uh, anyway... I tell them that he's running for president, and I give him a kind of little oversight on what he's doing, and that he doesn't have any PAC money. That's another thing that really makes me mad about the media. He doesn't get PAC money, but they never let you know that. You know, and they say, well, Trump doesn't have PAC money. He's paying his own way. I don't think he's had any commercial time. The media's giving it to him for free. Anyway, Bernie Sanders, he doesn't have PAC money. He doesn't owe to those people. He just works with us. And so I let him know who he is and to go home and look him up, you know, and really check him out and, how, you know, I hope you like him. And we do this quite often. When I went to Klamath Falls, I actually had three people who'd never heard of him, and I was in a motel, so I told him, I said, well, when you go home tonight, just look him up, you know, and research him. 
And the next day, they all three told me that they had looked him up. They're actually going to register because two of them don't even register to vote. Um, so they're going to register to vote, and they are voting for Bernie Sanders. So I felt good. I did my job. <laughs> but I want to do some videos so we can spread the media around for Bernie. On CNN, you never hear about him. And to hear about Clinton, Hillary, she must be running by herself. Because they never say anything about any of the, the Mallory or Bernie Sanders. They just say, well, Clinton's going to have no problem beating Trump and whatever. Well, I don't think he could beat Bernie either. Um, so I want people to spread the word. We need to do it for Mr. Sanders. He's the only one that's really for the people. And I do believe he is powerful enough and realizes it that he can do something about ISIS. He can work with that. I just think we all need to, because I get a lot of people say the stuff I post that they like it, but they don't share it. And that's what we need to do is be sharing it. So the people that don't know about him, find out about him. But anyway, I wish Lily would sit up and be a nice girl. Come on, Lily, sit up and be nice. Okay, you a good girl. Can you say, I love Bernie Sanders? Say, I love Bernie Sanders. Maybe. No, she's tired. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to start doing some pushing and making the blackout go away on Bernie. It's not fair. It's wrong. And I'm even going to talk to the... I've even sent some messages to CNN, of course I don't know if they'll ever see him, but I did send them, and so I'm going to see, I'm going to work on this, I'll improve it as I go along, anyway, you guys go out there and spread the word about Bernie Sanders, we need to be his media, if the media is not going to give him fair coverage, then we need to do it, and we need to do it any way we can, just like I do when I go out on the street. I always find a way to talk about Bernie Sanders. Of course, with Lily, it's not hard. <laughs> anyway, God bless you all. And I hope we all have a good Christmas. And Allah loves you too. Because Allah is God. And, uh, It's got to get better. And if Bernie wins, it will get better. Because he is truly the only one is totally for the people. And has proved it all along. So, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.